teased to day leadership training program for community stakeholders in the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas in Lagos State. Organized by the Ministry of Local Governments and Community Affairs, the program aimed at equipping community developers with tools needed in the 21st century community development practice and effective leadership. Declaring the two their program happened at the Adeyemi Barrow Hall of Alao Ikeja. The special advisor to the Governor on Community and Communications, Honorable Akim Omoya Sulaiman, noted that the training became necessary because governance is a collective. Hence, the need to harm those saddled with the responsibility of community mobilization with necessary information needed to carry out their respective duties. While the training is an avenue to sensitize, educate, and equip the members of the Community Development Committee on the modern tools for 21st century community development practice, which is for effective and efficient leadership, and keep them abreast with the policies of the state government. I'm very well pleased with the team, community development practice and activities in the 21st century, which is relevant and apt for the progress of all districts of community well-being, including economic, social, environment and cultural development across the state. I'm also very happy with the choice of topic of this training, especially in the area of accountability, which includes financial transaction, documentation and reporting. He urged participants not to take for granted the training. I never charge you all to listen attentively and make it more interactive through your contributions and don't hesitate to ask questions when necessary. On this note, it's of course a pleasure to declare this training program The senior special assistant to the governor on community affairs, Alaji Tajuddin Quadri, appreciated the recognition given to the fourth tier of government in the state, noting that they have not added this good. We have over 4,000 CDs, which is still growing, and we have uh, 57 CDC in the state, and uh, with the 500 million grants that the government has given, this is just a support to the initiated uh, uh, projects that the CDs have been doing all over the state. And if you look at it, uh, things have been changing for better. Sometimes you will be doing things and when you don't have the recognition of uh, government, there will not there will that, there won't be that much passion for you to even do something greater than what you are doing. So what you are experiencing with this government is that is giving us that recognition and following it up with training. He also spoke on the financial support amongst other range of issues. I would say that it's turn by turn uh, situation. Uh, there's no way the government can capture everything at once. And the, the grant is well intended. And we hope that the incoming governor, the incoming governor, he will, take the, he will toe the line of this present government. Why? 
the uh, project execution will continue. After the training session, participants had this to say while agitating for a continuous run. The training means a lot to me. It definitely is going to advance my performance in terms of uh, organizing, mobilizing, and uh, coordinating the activities of my the CDAs in my local government. And as a chairman of the CDA too, mobilizing my community. Because if you see our activities last year, you know that we have stepped up. And that was what informed the um, governor, Ambody, you know, by giving special responsibilities now to the CD, uh, CDC chairman and, C, and CDC in general. Because he has trained us and we are at another level and we have to discharge those duties. And we did very well. Last year, the lecture was fantastic and everybody saw the benefit of it. So we agitated for another one. And I must confess, uh, our chairman, Alaji Quadri, the governor, the special advisor, they've done very well by making sure that we have another, le another training. Anybody that is not trainable, the person is dead. So we have uh, cause to say thank you to all of them because we know we are going to make serious impact on the people we, uh, that are with us, our CDAs and all the other people that we come together to run the affairs of our communities. And by extension, the state will benefit from it as well. Actually, it's, it's really impacted uh, a lot into the community's activities. Because most of the things that uh, our men did not understand concerning community activities, with this uh, training, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure they've gotten certain things that uh, they can uh, work on in the community setting. And I believe, and I will still pray, the governor should continue giving more training, even to the other members of the community. We have really derived the benefits from it, and we wish it to continue. Like my other colleagues said the other time, instead of once or twice, it could be three times or four times a year. The special advisor to the governor in an interview revealed the success of the previous training program, adding that the CDAs are now more in tune with governmental policies and programs in legal state. If you look at the type of participation that we now have from all our CDAs and as well as CDC, it's been different from the way things have been in the past. We now have a situation whereby the CDC as well as the CDAs do uh, collaborate with government in such manner that uh, every uh, program of government has become of great uh, interest to them, such that most uh, projects that are done by government, they are the ones who have been saddled with the responsibilities of monitoring them. And they have gone beyond that. They have also been uh, uh, funding some of uh, projects also on their own and this is also what has led to uh, the governor approving that a grant of uh, 500 uh, million naira be given to them such man that it will be able to support whatever is their effort at the grassroots level. <music>